Hi, the Chili Frog Wiki is an attempt at reimagining a collaborative wiki for collaborative learning or teams working together. Uh, we wanted to make it as easy as possible to capture and edit information, but also to uh, work with information uh, in groups uh, in synchronous situations. So uh, I can just create a new wiki by typing in the name of the wiki. Here I called it New Wiki, and I'm on the home page, so I can double click um, to edit. We have uh, different kinds of formatting. We can insert different kinds of uh, media, like I can insert um, a YouTube video. I can upload uh, images and, and insert tables, so on. Um, I can, of course, create more pages. I can easily link between the pages that exist, so I can link to home. I can even include another page into this page, so I can include the whole home page uh, here if I want to. Um, and all of this uh, works collaboratively. So. Here I have another user, this is an anonymous user who hasn't logged in. And as you can see, uh, when I create a new page, it arrives immediately. Um, the user can see as I am typing in real time. And in fact, he can join me and we can both edit at the same time. So that's... Um, really nice for all kinds of collaborative situations. You can uh, insert a, a video. Um, so as you can see, we, um, we can edit this just like a Google Doc, but because we can have these links, um, uh, it's much easier to keep the information um, together. Another interesting thing you can do, uh, by the way, you can go in here on revisions, and we can see here that I started the page, and then we see the different edits that um, the two users were making. So we can go through the whole history here. Um, I can create a new page, and I'm going to say Weekly Reflections. And this page, I actually want each user to get their own page. So how does that work? Well, you see here that I'm getting my own Weekly Reflections, Stia. So I'm going to say I was working on the wiki today and then if this other user goes to the weekly reflections they get their own page and they can write what they want um, by default we cannot edit we can see other users pages but we cannot edit them that can be changed in the settings um, what if someone has a really great um, page that i want to link to directly i can link to weekly reflections like this and now I will go to my weekly reflections and DM will go to his right but if I think um, for example I can just choose to directly link to Stian's weekly reflections and now everyone clicking on that link will go to exactly the same page um, so that's a, a neat way of kind of gathering ideas from um, many different people. Um, we also have the opportunity to create different kinds of pages. So instead of creating um, just a text, uh, for example, I might want to brainstorm about vacation. And I'm going to choose a brainstorm. So here I can say, I think we should go to Bermudas and this guy might say Spain is better. And I'm going to say, well, that's a good idea. So I'm going to vote that idea up. All right. So we get these rich interfaces for working with ideas. Um, this still supports uh, collaborative editing, as you can see. Um, so. Um, that can be really useful um, depending on what kind of information you want to gather. 
We can even uh, include information coming from the outside. So let's say we've uh, taken uh, hypothesis annotations from a page. So we'll say annotations about social learning. And we'll get some hypothesis annotations. Let's uh, search for social learning and let's grab 20 annotations. And um, we get this really neat page here um, with all these different annotations that people have been taking. So we can search them here. We can say, is there anything about China? Yeah, there's one article there about China. But we can even use the split view to see two pages at the same time. So here we're having this brainstorm. And maybe there's something interesting here that I want to bring over. If I can just drag it in here and I can add it to this brainstorm. Or maybe I want to uh, open a text document here and I can drag in um, the most interesting annotations that I find. So again, this is giving us really flexible ways of working with um, different types of information, um, all collaboratively, as you can see, because of course I can go in here and see exactly the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna vote this up. Um, I can go and see the annotations and so on. Um, so uh, there's other things that we can do. We can create um, a visual brainstorm and we're going to use, uh, for example, the idea board. And here I can say China, communism, uh, capitalism. I'm going to just show one page here and bring this guy over. So let's say um, the USA. I'm going to move this over there. And you see again that this is live synced, so we can collaborate um, using all these different interfaces. We can also um, search. And so I can either just go here and I can go and jump to any of these pages. Or if I want to, for example, find something else. Um, this doesn't search in the search uh, recursively in these complex uh, uh, structures yet, but it is a live search. So if I go in here and say tomorrow I am going to China, we'll see that this note immediately appears here on the search page and disappears. So this can also be a way of kind of monitoring what's going on in the classroom in real time, um, which is pretty interesting. Um, so here we see an overview of all the different pages and we can also expand them to see all the pages um, as these columns here. Um, in addition to all the things you can do just with the wiki, we can also integrate this wiki with the collaborative learning system ChiliFrog. Um, so if we have, for example, a page here that we want to pull into the wiki to the, to the learning system, we can do that. And we can also export from the learning system to the wiki. So I'll show you how that works. I'm gonna first go to um, just ChiliFrog. And here I'm going to add a whole class activity going to add a wiki page from the new wiki and let's say um, the brainstorm about vacation and I'm going to just uh, gonna, so here we see how that looks and I can publish that I can start a session and I can now as a, ask the students to go to learn and if they go to this um, I follow this code then um, they're logged in and they can continue working on this page and this is still linked to the wiki so if we go back to the wiki we'll see this content reflected there um, but maybe a more interesting way of connecting this is uh, for example, we can create a peer review flow. 
So students write something, for example, um, biggest threat to democracy today. We peer review it, um, use logic to criticize their arguments. Students revise, revise using the, the feedback. And then we share out the result. So if we create this uh, session, we can um, just open four students just to quickly test this out. So each of these windows is for a single student and we're just opening it like this to rapidly test out what happens. And so, for example, we might say um, Chinese global power, um, Russian hacking, lack of participation, US hegemony. So we have, these are very short articles. I would hope that students would write a lot more. Um, but we'll see here that in the next step, what happens is that I received a um, piece of text from someone else and I'm asked to criticize it. So let me share this happened. Um, this is really a problem. Chinese global power. Um, what does this lead to? A lack of participation. How can this be overcome? And now the, in the next stage, we get the critiques from other students and we get to revise our uh, original uh, text. So Chinese global power can destabilize the great power, the relationship between global nations, for example. Okay. And uh, when I'm done, we get to see, so each student sees the four texts that have been written. So that's the peer review script and that worked fine. But what we can do now is we can take any piece of this and export it to the wiki. So we can take the finished gallery, we can export that as a wiki page. So I'm gonna call that um, gallery. Um, but we can also take these individual rich texts uh, and if I export those uh, individual contributions, okay. So let's now look, go look at our wiki. And we see here that we have two new pages. We have the gallery, which has the four contributions by the four students as a single page. But we also have individual contributions. And this has actually been insert, imported as these four different instances. And um, each one of them has um, the different contribution. And um, if Anna, for example, were to log in, she would go directly to her instance and she could um, continue to work on it here, for example. So um, there's a lot of other ideas of things we can do, but um, this has been an attempt at kind of uh, imagining what a uh, really kind of powerful um, collaborative wiki could look like to be used in uh, synchronous learning or collaboration situations.